you can now convert a photo into a song using Suno AI Music Generator. I haven't tried this out yet, so let's try it live on camera. First things first, this is a Suno app exclusive, meaning you have to download the app and use it on your phone in order to access this feature. I'm not sure why they're doing this, but maybe it's because they want to promote the app. I'm not entirely sure, right? But as you can see, this is a screenshot. I did this on my phone real quick for this video, just to kind of see how it looks. So this is how the app looks. Then when you go to create, this is what you have, text, camera, or audio. So you can take a picture or you can go to your photo library in your phone. That's what I did. So I went to my photo library then this is the one that I chose. I'm doing an art challenge right now where I have to draw every day for 30 days in a row. This is like a weird abstract thing that I drew. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna do this and click create. I have not listened to the song yet, right? So after creating it, I then went now to the actual Suno. Get my headphones out. So you can see it's called Colorful Chaos. And it seems like it only made a 30 second snippet. So as opposed to a full song, it only made something that's 30 seconds long. Uh, let's see how this sounds. I'm kind of curious. So here we go. It did say, I want to say as a quick sign up before we jump into it, it does say colorful chaos. So it's kind of interesting that it kind of analyzed what was in the photo, which I'm assuming that's kind of part of it. And so kind of interesting name already. Let's uh, check out the first iteration. Hmm. Kind of like it. That was kind of cool. Now it's interesting that I think it took parts of the what's in the image of course, analyzed it and then added it into the lyrics. Um, let me see, can I, I click this? So the, oh, this is it. Abstract vibe, rectangles dance. All right, I mean, yeah. Geometric jungle, colors blasting. So these are the incredible lyrics it wrote, but kind of nailed it. I mean, I do know that, you know, AI is getting insanely good now if you if you like give it an image and it knows exactly what's in the image. I know Google's been doing this a lot when it comes to like the Google brain, even on YouTube now. You, uh, Google AI has gotten good enough where like if I upload a thumbnail, it can analyze a thumbnail and use that to figure out more about what the YouTube video is about. So again, things are getting crazy, not just with AI music, but in general and I kind of like it. That was actually a, a lot better than I expected it to be. I thought it would just be maybe a random song, but it definitely tries to analyze what's in the photo and make the song off of it in a very like humanish way, right? Someone said, hey, make some lyrics about this art image that I drew. I mean, that's not, it's not the craziest lyrics, obviously, but it definitely pertains to what's in the photo. So let's do the second iteration. It's kind of like grungy, electro grungy. Oh, I like this one more. Reminds me a, a bit of like the Schaffelstein, a little bit, like that dark electro feel. Dance. Gotta say, that was pretty interesting. Uh, I don't know if I had to be honest how useful it is though. I mean, I've talked a lot throughout so many videos about AI music about the usefulness, of course, when it comes to AI music. I mean, the benefits of using an AI music generator, there's a bajillion of them, right? Whether it's Suno or Udo or any of the other ones. When it comes to this feature though, I'm kind of curious to see if more people use it and how they're going to use it. Because like I said, not only can you actually upload a photo, but I did check, you can also upload a video. So maybe I'll do like a follow-up video where I upload one of my videos of maybe me doing like parkour or, or calisthenics or something. And, you know, um, it'd be interesting to see what Suno does with that. But I gotta say that was more accurate and more interesting than I expected. I kind of thought, cause I have used sometimes 
There's a couple, I remember there's one free VST plugin I reviewed on this channel years ago. I think this is like 2000, maybe 18 or 19. So, or no, I mean, 2000, maybe 19 or 20, I think. So this is like almost four years ago where it took like a picture and turned it into like a noise or a song or a synth. And it was kind of trash. I'm not going to lie. Where I'm like, all right, is it really turning the picture into like an audio thing? Or is it just kind of making it up, right? And when it came to this, I was like, is it just going to give me a random song that you could put towards any picture? Like, it's just kind of making it up just to be like, oh, we're turning this photo into a song. Check it out. But that was actually really accurate. I mean, the lyrics, again, weren't anything mind-blowing. It was only, like, what, a couple of sentences? But it did analyze what was in the photo pretty accurately and then took that accurate representation of what's in the photo, turned it into a song. I am kind of curious, though, what made it pick those genres because the first one was kind of like funky a bit so maybe it thought that the the colors in it were a bit funky and whatnot so maybe that's why maybe maybe that's why it made like a uh, funk song is the first iteration and then the second one was almost like a darker almost electro track slash techno track very like a Schaffelstein Drezzo type vibes maybe like 1788L vibes like in res a little bit as well like that kind of left field bass style Maybe because of the geometricness of the photo and the fact that it's like a black photo with like highlighted colors on it, maybe gave it a dark feel. So Suna said, hey, we're going to run with that, run with the geometricness of it. Either way, that was better than I expected. That was kind of cool, you know, and, and again, I, I am kind of curious to see where this could potentially go because I feel like this is, again, again, I've said this in a lot of videos, with all these different things coming out with AI music, whether it's you know, um, of course, just making the song itself or using the stems or now doing cover songs or turning your voice into a song, which I've already done. This is another or a new, I feel like, wave of an AI music generator and another interesting aspect of using AI music generators that I'm curious to see how it evolves. Like, at first glance, at least right now, I'm like, okay, this is cool. And it was interesting to do this on camera, but is this useful? In my opinion, not really, but then again, you never know. Maybe this is actually something that has way more uses than I originally expected where I'm like, wow, you know, maybe this is something that could turn into something bigger. Maybe this is something that there's a huge use to this that I'm not even thinking of. And I guarantee there probably is. I guarantee there's probably a lot of uses for this that I'm not thinking of. And this is just another big sign of how crazy AI is getting. You know, I know I say that in almost every AI music video that I've done I think I've done maybe, what, maybe 20 or 30 videos. I have the playlist list below in the description. I think I've done, like I said, about like 20 or 30 plus videos about AI music and AI music generators and everything. But it's still continuing to blow my mind. I'm still very interested in it. And I think inevitably, I feel like I kind of have to be invested in it in terms of like learning the technology, right? I mean, I feel like in this day and age, I think it was Gary Vaynerchuk, the famous entrepreneur that said in the future, or I guess the future is kind of now, a skill set is going to be knowing how to use AI tools like ChatGPT or Claude is another big one or using uh, Gemini with Google to create my album artwork or using even DistroPic or even using, in this case, Suno and Udio, right? Like understanding how to use the AI tools is a skill set in of itself. And this is just another tool within the toolkit that is all this AI stuff of converting any picture that you want into a song and again, I, 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 I've been trying to think about where this could be useful in terms of like actual practicality. I mean, it is interesting, right? Like I said, and everything, but in terms of like me being like, oh, like I need Suno to make a song directly related to this, you know, art. I don't know. Although I will say what I've been doing for this art experiment as a side note, which relates kind of to this, is I'm drawing every day for 30 days. As you saw, this is one of my drawings, and I have to do two drawings a day. So I'm doing 60 total, two a day, 30 days in a row. And I was thinking, I mean, I wonder if, like, say, at the end of this, this whole 30-day art experiment, if, like, say, I uploaded every photo and almost made, like, a mini, 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 mini AI album where I'm like, hey, check out all the photos that I drew for, for 30 days in a row. So 60 drawings total. So it would be a big album. And then look at all these songs that AI generated in relation to each art piece. Like, I wonder if that'd be kind of interesting, like in the future, as I'm like talking about this now, just off the cusp, what's popping into my head, almost like brainstorming on this video. 
if let's say you went to like an art gallery and you have like a photo there, right? And like, oh, it's a beautiful painting that some guy or girl drew. And there's a, there's a QR code next to that painting. And then you walk up and it says, oh, listen to the song related to the painting that AI made. I don't know if it would take it away. Like it would be more interesting if they're like, hey, this artist both made a painting and then a song based off the painting. But nonetheless, it would be interesting maybe if you go into an art gallery, you know, you see a painting and then it says, scan this QR code here to listen to a song based off the painting. You scan a QR code, plug in your headphones to your phone or whatever and listen to it. I guess that would be kind of cool. Be kind of interesting, you know, as like a unique sensory blend of not only the visualness of art, but then the musical or audio representation of that art. Nonetheless, kind of interesting, kind of a really cool feature. I, again, I, I don't think it's as useful as some of the other features I've seen in Suno, got to be honest. But in terms of something that's just fun and cool to use, got to say, it's pretty awesome.